Hello everyone. I welcome you all to yet another session on the question discussion. So today I bring uh, forward a question from the topic uh, progressions, right? Arithmetic progression to be precise. So the question that we have for today is actually a CAT model question. A similar question has already appeared in CAT, right? And uh, uh, in the future also there is a there is a chance that similar question in maybe slightly more difficult or of the same uh, uh, difficulty type might be asked. Right? So I will share the question with all of you. You can pause the screen now. Try out this question yourself right? and uh, please share your answers in the comments. Right? Uh, we shall be anyways be discussing uh, the question here. Right? Please tell me how easy or how difficult did you find this question. Let's get started with this. Right. It says find the number of terms common to the sequences 14, 17, 20, so on till 149, 10, 14, 18, so on till 158. Okay. So how many terms will be common to these two sequences is the question. So let's write down the first sequence and if you observe the first sequence closely, the difference is com constant here right, between any two con consecutive terms. So difference is 3, difference is 3. So thus we can call this first sequence as an arithmetic progression. So I would call it as arithmetic progression 1, AP1, which is nothing but 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, 29, and this will go on 146 and 149, the last term. Similarly, if you look at the second sequence here, the difference is 4 everywhere, right? The first two terms, second and third term. So this is also an AP, let's call it as arithmetic progression 2. So it's going to be 10, comma. 14 comma, 18 comma, 22 comma, 26 comma, uh, 30 comma, right, etc. 154 and the last term is 158. So in this case, as we see, the common difference is 3. In this case, the common difference, CD2, I'll call it, is 4. And also please notice that the series that will be consisting of terms common to both the sequences will be another AP. Think why. Why will it be an AP again? Please notice, just by observation we can see that there is one term which is already common to both the sequences, 14. So that means the first common term of the combined, uh, of the new sequence will be 14. Now what will be second term? Again, if you notice for a while, you will see there is 26 also, 26 here also. So this is the second term. And then again, you will have a third term, a fourth term, a fifth term, etc. How many common terms do we have between the two sequences? Please notice, listen to the logic that I am sharing now. If the next term is to be decided, whatever is the next term, that should be part of AP1. That should also be part of AP2. So that means the next term should come after multiple of three number of terms. For example, either it should come after three... Uh, uh, basically not multiple of three number of terms but multiples of three for example the next term here should be either 29 plus 3 26 plus 3 or it should be 26 plus 6 or it should be 26 plus 9 or it should be 26 plus 12 or it should be 26 plus 15 and so on so basically looking at ap1 we may say the next term out here should be after a certain multiple of three similarly in ap2 the common difference is four that means can i say the next term here should be after either 26 plus 4 or 26 plus 8 or 26 plus 12 or 26 plus 16 or 26 plus 20 and so on. So that means the next term should also be after a certain multiple of 4. So that means here the next term comes after a multiple of 3 also and a multiple of 4 also and 3 and 4 are nothing but the common differences. So thus what we do here is since we understand that I hope we understand that the next term should come after multiple of 3 and multiple of 4. So we need to add basically multiple of 3 and 4 which is nothing but multiple of 12. And there is nothing but LCM of common differences. So thus the new sequences that will be formed here will be another AP whose common difference will be LCM of the common difference 1 and common difference 2 which is LCM of 3 and 4 which is 12. So thus what will be next term? Next term will be 38. 26 plus 12, next will be 50, next will be 62, next will be 74 and so on, so on. Now the question is how many terms will be there? Now if you notice both the sequences, now if you want a common term, now the term should be member of both AP1 and AP2. 
So that means I cannot go beyond 149. Because if you go beyond 149, it won't be part of AP1. Alright? Now one more point that we can notice here is, one more thing that we can notice out here is, right? now uh, the nth term here in this AP, in this third AP, right? nth term, will be given as what? It will be given as a plus n minus 1 into d which is 12. That is 12n plus 2 we get. So nth term is of the form 12n plus 2. Now what is the number which is of the form 12n plus 2 and just less than 149? Because clearly 149 is not 12n plus 2 because this is even. So it should be just less than 149. What is that number when you look at it? 12n will be less than 147. And hence can I say n should be less than 147 by 12 which when you will solve will get 12.25. And please note n is a number of terms. Hence can I say the value of n okay, will be the number of terms is just less than 12.25 n is going to be 12. So there are going to be 12 terms out here. Right? So this is by using the formula we can get to the answer that there are 12 terms option choice C. Or alternately look at one more way of uh, looking at this n equal to 12. How do we get n equal to 12? Notice, if you look at the first term, this is of the form 12 into 1 plus 2. 12 first multiple plus 2. What is 26? 12 into 2 plus 2. What is 38? 12 into 3 plus 2. 50? 12 into 4 plus 2. So you see the pattern here. You are getting this pattern 12 and plus 2. Just by observation, we are not using any formula. This is 12 into 5 plus 2. This is 12 into 6 plus 2. Now my question to you is, what is the number below 149 again, lower of the 2? 158, 149, lower of the 2. Which is of the form 12 into n plus 2? So by observation, 12 into 12 is 144. So it's going to be 146, which is 12 into 12 plus 2. So what's the number of terms? You have the first term here, you have the second term here, you have the third term here, fourth term, so on till 12th term. Hence again, my answer can be 12 by this observation, there is no need to go for this arithmetic progression and term formula and all. We could do it either ways, right? both ways, we can solve it in almost the same time. Right? So it's up to you, right? whichever way strikes first, go ahead with that. Because in the exam, conditions we don't have time to uh, judge on which is a better method, which is not a really good method. right? Uh, while you are practicing at home, you can uh, have uh, these thoughts, but not uh, during the exam. So my answer is option choice C. I hope we have followed this question right, from the progressions topic. So with that, I would like to end the session here. But again, before ending uh, the session, I uh, would like to just repeat the point again. Right? Uh, we upload such videos, plenty of them, like for the past couple of weeks itself, right? two, three weeks itself, we have uploaded around 20 plus videos. Right? 20 plus videos on this will be uploading more right we'll be uploading more also so just to gain access to this content right this kind of discussion please uh, subscribe to our channel right? and uh, please follow this uh, channel for more such content so on that note uh, i would be ending the session here thank you and all the very best